Okay, I wanted to share a little video, um, kind of give some information that I learned as I'm going with uh, clutching eggs and doing working with chickens. But uh, every now and then, you'll come across an egg like this one. Here, I think you can see it better. Basically, it's a uh, an egg that the a chicken did. This is like what I call the liner. Uh, so it doesn't have the shell. And I know I was in a feed store about a week ago and I overheard a conversation with some people who are fairly new to having chickens uh, asking information and so forth to the person there and I kind of interjected just to share what I know uh, or what I've learned. So the reason I have an egg like this and sometimes you will get one, we call them like jelly eggs because when it's all filled up uh, it kind of is squishy like a jelly. Uh, but really it's just the membrane. So the reason I have an egg like this tells me that I have a, a, a hen whose uh, calcium uh, levels are, are deficient. So that's why I always keep the um, uh, oyster shells as a side thing because uh, from what I read, and it seems to be that chickens know when they're, they're lacking, but evidently this one, <laughs> she just didn't need her oyster shell or whatever. She could be one of my newbies. I have some pullets that are just starting to uh, lay. You'll also get that sometimes, uh, again, if the, their nutrition is lacking enough calcium. So you always want to make sure that you have the oyster shells. If they don't free range, they don't have enough um, small rocks and so forth that they can um, help with their digestion, then you also want to have grit. So um, the person that I was talking with at the feed store, I guess his was intact. Usually ours are intact. Um, this one wasn't. But... Um, he had asked if it was okay to eat. Now, the person he asked at the store, she goes, well, I would imagine it wouldn't be. But my thought is, everything is good inside. I mean, obviously this one's already broken, so you don't see anything in here. Uh, but the shell, uh, the egg is already formed. Uh, there's no reason why I think that you can't eat the, sh the egg. It's just that the shell is not uh, formed correctly. So uh, yeah, there's some times that you can get a, a, a jelly egg, if you will. Uh, and, and be able to keep it that way. And I would imagine, like I said, that you can eat it. I don't know why you can't be. And if someone is watching this and knows better, please correct me. I, I'm all about uh, having correct information. But again, I wanted to just share it because, as I said, these uh, the people I talk to happen to be newbies. And um, I, I was glad that I was able to share my experience. But again, I'm not an expert. I learn as I go. But just in case, uh, like I said, you're, you're new, you're, you're getting your or uh, first time that your your pullets are, are laying and you get an egg like this or um, you know you've had them for a while and you start getting eggs like this what that means is again is that their nutrition is just lacking some enough of the uh, the calcium and again that's just the oyster shells uh, you just make sure that they have plenty full of that so anyway I just wanted to share this and hopefully it's information that helps somebody uh, have a great day bye bye